Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today is hump day or Wednesday, April 4th, I believe. Is that what today is? I'm not sure. Yeah, Wednesday, April 4th. This morning, it is time for me to drink my coffee, take my L-carnitine, and then for breakfast this morning, I'm going to eat one of these low carb bagel dogs that I made in yesterday's video because these were so good and this is the last one and I'm going to eat it. So let's start off this keto full day of eating with making me some coffee. One thing I am trying to do is, you know, minimize the dairy I am eating. This morning I am going to try this almond and coconut milk to put in my coffee instead of heavy whipping cream. I'm trying to reduce the amount of dairy I am eating every day. So this is going to be the substitute for heavy whipping cream in my coffee. Hopefully it tastes good. I've never used this almond and coconut blend before, but there's only what, one carb, less than one carb in it and it has three grams of fat. So not too bad. Before I fix my coffee though, let's take my morning dose of L-carnitine. I always take a second dose at lunchtime. I usually forget to show it. I take two servings a day, one in the morning and one at lunchtime. Cody didn't leave me with much coffee this morning. Actually, it should be perfect for a cup. Perfect. Now I'm going to pour in my almond and coconut milk. I'm not going to weigh it out. I'm just chunking some in there and then lastly my scoop of stevia Perfect. also this is the stevia blend we are currently using it's this pure we're just still using this old canister to hold it i just tried my coffee in this little almond coconut milk actually tastes pretty darn good in this coffee. I also just heated up my bagel dog. It's freaking hot, so I'm gonna let it cool for a minute. But this is going to be my breakfast to hold me over until I get home for lunch today. I've been giving Bo medicine every morning for his allergies and skin. And today's just one of those mornings where I wrapped his medicine in the roast beef and I almost ate it. Catherine, you need to think more. <laughs> the worst part of my day is saying goodbye to this sweet baby who just loves cuddling up with this furry pillow. It is time for me to head out the door, so I will check in at lunchtime. What you doing, Bo? Say hi to the camera. Say hello to the camera. I just got home for lunch. Let me show you what I am making. I am going to make myself a toasted wrap. I wanted to eat the last of this cheddar folio because it's literally been in my way repeatedly in the fridge. So I wanted to eat the last one. I'm going to use one of these extreme wellness tortillas. And then right here, I just set it here so I can put the cheese on. I have some salami and Canadian ham. And now this is going to go over here in the toaster oven and I'm going to let it toast and then I'm going to add some mayo. That wrap I had was surprisingly delicious. On the side, I tried these pork clouds they're rosemary and sea salt flavored they're made by a company called bacon's air i believe so i tried these i just had them in my cabinet i was wanting something crunchy so i dumped these out verdict is like the pork rinds themselves were delicious but the like rosemary flavor on them i'm not really a fan of but i liked how like fluffy the pork rinds were 
I accidentally dropped one on the floor and Bo was repulsed by the smell, which made me laugh. But these are actually pretty good. I've had these in another flavor. I can't remember what flavor. They were really good. I'm just not a big fan of rosemary, but if you are, you would love these. I think I got these in like my keto box or something, but not bad. All right, it's time for me to go take Bo on a quick walk before I head back to work. <laughs> It is time for my lion mane head to head out this door and go back to work. I will see y'all when work is done right about now. And I'm home from work. So I just got home from work like 20 minutes ago or so. I feel so bad for Cody. He's been working since 6.30 this morning is when he left the house. But he didn't even come inside. We traded vehicles. He didn't. He needed my truck to go pick up some stuff for work. He has to drive across town, go pick up the stuff, then drive back across town and then back. So he has to work a couple of more hours this evening. Poor guy, he's gonna put in like 13, 14 hours of work today. But while he is out, I'm gonna try and get some stuff accomplished. The dishes are disgusting, so I'm gonna try and get the dishes done. I'm going to try and get dinner prepped so that when he's on his way home, I can stick it in the oven. I'm gonna do some taco stuffed zucchinis. I think tomorrow is gonna be my first day attempting totally dairy-free. So tonight I wanna eat the recipe that I have that calls for cheese. Actually, I could probably not do cheese on it, but it just wouldn't taste that good. So one more night of cheese, and then we're gonna attempt to do one day dairy-free. And then from there, we'll try a second day dairy-free. It's a very small process. The bloating in my stomach today is just horrendous. It's painful to like breathe, take a deep breath. So tomorrow is going to be an attempt at dairy-free. I'm not excited about it at all, but I figure you know, if I can try a couple of days and actually stick to it, and if I see a difference in my stomach, well, then we'll figure it out from there. But for now, I've kicked Bo twice since I've been trying to film this video. I'm gonna take him out, use the bathroom, and then get to work on doing stuff in here so that I actually have a productive evening. Look at this cute little duck just hanging out right here. Hey, ducky ducky. Got a ferocious bow. <coughs> Bo, it's just a duck. It's just a duck. <coughs> He's scared of the duck. He's backing up. <coughs> Got the first load of dishes in the dishwasher, and now I am prepping dinner. I went ahead and laid out some bacon. I'm going to cook this in the oven so that I can have it for breakfast or lunch tomorrow. So you just put bacon on a piece of parchment paper on a cookie sheet. I laid out one package of center cut bacon and now I have the oven heating up to 400 degrees. And you bake this in the oven till it's nice and crispy for about 15 to 20 minutes. And it is like the best bacon you will ever eat is when you cook it in the oven. And then I just cleaned these zucchinis. These are kind of small. They didn't have much of a selection at the Kroger. But what I'm going to do is chop off the tops, cut them in half, and then scoop them out because I'm going to make these into zucchini boats so that there's like a hollow point in the middle that I can stuff them with taco seasoned ground beef. So it is actually rather simple to hollow out one of these halves of zucchinis. I just have a metal spoon and I go in about a quarter or a half of an inch from the end of the zucchini and I just start pressing down and slowly scraping away the inside of the zucchini and it hollows out pretty quickly. It only takes a second or so and then you do it from the other side. And just like that, you've got a hollowed out zucchini. I just finished hollowing out all eight halves of my zucchinis. 
since I have the oven heating up, I am going to like par cook these. I think that's the term. But I'm going to put them in the 400 degree oven for probably about three to five minutes so they get a little bit of cook to them before I stuff them since everything I stuff them with will be cooked and just needs to kind of cook together. Currently dicing up an onion. Oh, and throwing some of it all over the floor. Now I'm working on dicing up about half of a bell pepper because this was a pretty big bell pepper. Also, I'm using paper plate cutting boards because I'm an idiot and my only cutting board is in the dishwasher right now. So, you just make it work, guys. You just make it work. I think I may have chopped up too much onion and bell pepper, but what I'm going to do is cook this down in a pan. I'm gonna throw in some Kerrygold butter and basically caramelize these onions and bell peppers because I just feel like that would bring so much more taste than having them, you know, kind of cook in the oven. So that means I need some Kerrygold butter, which is right here. Cool. Going to chuck in a good amount of Kerrygold butter and then just go ahead and add my onions and bell peppers to start cooking. Just pulled the bacon out of the oven. It looks delicious. It's still bubbling. I'm gonna let it cool off for a few minutes and then I'll let it drain on a paper towel. Over here, we've got our vegetables cooking, caramelizing slowly. So we're in the process of cooking and now I'm about to pull the zucchinis out of the oven that I've had cooking for just a couple minutes. So the vegetables are pretty well cooked and getting translucent. So now I'm going to dump in a pound of ground beef to cook along with the vegetable. The meat is almost all the way cooked and I'm going to add this taco seasoning mix. I have this giant thing of it that I got from Costco because it was super cheap. Now I'm going to just sprinkle this over the top of the meat and let it cook together. Give it that yummy taco flavor. The last step of our meat mixture is I'm going to add in about half of this eight ounce can of tomato sauce into the ground beef. I'm gonna let this simmer together for a minute or two and it'll be good to go to stuff in our zucchini halves. It smells so good. We're going to stuff this meat mixture into these hollowed out zucchinis. They baked for about seven minutes in the oven, so they got a little bit of a cook to them. Then we'll top it with some cheese and throw it back in a 400 degree oven. I just finished cooking up the meat mixture that's going to be stuffed into the zucchinis, but since I don't know where Cody is or when he's going to be home, I'm waiting to hear from him. I'm not going to stuff them just yet. When I get the word he's like on the way home or so, I will go ahead, dump the meat in there, sprinkle them with cheese, and throw them in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. Get them all nice and gooey, ooey yumminess. It is currently 8.52. I just talked to Cody and he hasn't even gotten to his store yet that he has to go take his product to. Then he's got to check in his product and then he has like a 20, 25 minute drive back. So he's probably not even going to be here until around 10 o'clock when he left the house at 6.30 this morning. Poor guy. I feel for him. That's got to be an awful day. He hasn't even walked in the house since 6.30 this morning. 
Anyways, one thing I have been doing is I'm trying to start incorporating more like handstands and presses, like just into my little fitness workout routines that I'm doing. So I'm about to do some handstands in the living room and attempt to not kick anything because I only have a very limited space to work with, but I did it last night. Get more comfortable doing that and getting better at them once again because I was a gymnast for 15 years, like I can do a handstand. But doing exercises like that are by far the best way for me to just like feel strong. Because when I was heavily into lifting weights every single day, I could deadlift 225 pounds, but I couldn't drop down and do a bunch of push-ups or do some pull-ups. Like that strength just, I wasn't building that strength and that's what I call functional strength, which is where I could actually do stuff with the strength that I built, which I don't have any muscles anymore, which is so sad. I used to have huge muscles. Yeah, I've said that I've lost muscle. But yeah, we're gonna do some handstands and try not to break anything because there's a lot of stuff I can break around me. <laughs> So doing handstands gives me a huge burn in my shoulders, makes me feel like I'm gaining some strength doing what I'm doing. I'm gonna do some more handstands, maybe some like presses where I like sit on the floor with my legs out and just try and build some strength in the living room because I don't wanna go to the gym at nine o'clock at night by myself. So for now, Going to go and get in a little bit of a workout, then finish dinner when Cody is on his way home. The next thing I'm going to do is stuff this meat into these zucchini boats. The last step before they go in the oven is being sprinkled with this taco blend cheese. Cody finally made it home at 9.40 at night. Poor guy has been working all day. Bo is sitting over here chomping loudly on his food. And we just pulled the zucchini taco boats out of the oven and they smell really good so it is time for us to dig in and eat because it is just freaking late i put a big old dollop of sour cream on, on my plate <laughs> <laughs> okay do you want those thanks for stealing my plate i just made myself i've had a long day so least you can do excuse me <laughs> no. Ooh, i need a fork Get your stupid fork. Thanks, babe. Okay, I'm glad I made my plate for you. <laughs> I'm glad you did too. She understands when a man works 13 hours. She's such a good girlfriend. Cody made himself some jello with whipped cream for a dessert, and I told him to give Bo a dollop. Well, he gave him a dollop, all right. He doesn't <laughs> right. even know it's there. Right on his freaking eyebrow. <laughs> Bo! <laughs> Can I fix this for you? Hold on. Hold on. Here. <laughs> Can you tell that Mr. Bo lives such a hard life being surrounded by four pillows and just cuddled up on this furry pillow. What a hard, hard life this dog lives. It is now 11 o'clock at night, which means I need to go ahead and round out today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below. And I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye guys. Mwah.